We begin with the latest drama and fallout from the Portland Hotel Society audit. Yesterday, New Democrat MLA Jenny Kwan said she didn't know that her former husband, who worked at the nonprofit, was using society money on a family trip to Disneyland. Today, she revealed there were other trips and that she will repay $34,000. And she will also take a leave of absence from her political duties. She held a tearful news conference today and fielded tough questions, including many from our reporter, Eric Rankin. NDP MLA Jenny Kwan decided to deal head-on today with her role in the growing Portland Hotel Society scandal. Like you, I'm concerned about the findings in the audits. Kwan confirming her estranged husband, Dr. Dan Small, a society employee, took their family on extravagant trips, not just to Disneyland as revealed yesterday, but to Europe, paid for by the non-profit Portland Hotel Society, which is supposed to use taxpayers' dollars to help the homeless and addicted in Canada's poorest neighborhood. Kwan says she believed Small when he said he was personally paying for the trips. How is it possible that you did not have a clue that uh, this money was not his to spend. He had assured me that the expenses were paid for by him. We keep separate accounts. There's an element of trust. And I trusted him when he told me that it was paid for. And how has this left you feeling now then? I'm as shocked as anyone to learn of this. Kwan revealed she has now repaid the money to the society, more than $8,300 for travel to the UK, $3,100 for a trip to Bristol, over $10,000 to Vienna, and $2,700 for that Disneyland trip, plus $5,900 for flights and $4,100 for transportation, total almost $35,000. Kwan says she will now take an unpaid leave of absence. She's been trying to talk to her estranged husband since yesterday. It is complicated because we are separated, we are apart. Small was one of several Portland Hotel Society members found to have spent $300,000 on travel, $69,000 on restaurants, almost $12,000 on florists, over $16,000 on taxis. So is the Portland Hotel Society going to follow Jenny Kwan's lead and pay back the money that they received? In a word, no. It is for legitimate trips and for, for work that has to be done. If there was, I would pay money back for sure. And as for the money Small spent on his family's travels, Townsend says it was given in lieu of benefits because Small has a serious heart condition. He had a catastrophic um, diagnosis and we wanted to make sure that he could, you know, spend some time with his family, which could be the last time he got to spend with them. Townsend says Small is so ill, commenting on the controversy could prove too much for him. Eric Rankin, CBC News, Vancouver. And uh, let me first of all thank all of you uh, for coming here today. And further to my statement yesterday, like you, I'm concerned about the findings in the audits. Words cannot adequately express how shocked and sorry I am about the findings of these audits. It is my understanding that my ex-husband traveled to Europe to further his work for the Portland Hotel Society. And while he was there, he conducted research, was a presenter, and attended conferences. He brought the family along, as I stated yesterday, and I was reassured by my ex-spouse that he had paid for all the family portion of the travel associated with the society. I trusted that he was telling the truth. Since reviewing the audits, I've asked the individuals involved to advise me how much of the travel cost is attributed to my family and to provide me with the documentations to verify this. I spent most of my day yesterday trying to get answers and explanations about the discrepancies between what the audits found versus what I've been told about the payments of these expenses. As of today, they're not able to provide me with the information. Given the findings of the audit, 
It is clear to me that their accounting system is deficient, and I'm not at all confident that they would be able to provide me with this information. I strongly believe that the travel expense incurred by my family should not be paid for or perceived to be paid for by the society. I'm therefore repaying the full amounts identified in the audits that either my ex-husband and or my family is associated with. According to the audits, these include travel to the UK in the amount of $8,323.22, travel to Bristol in the amount of $3,175.12, flights $5,950.60, transportation $4,142.68, travel to Vienna $10,636, and the Disney Hotel upgrade at $2,694.95. As to the Disney trip, this was a package vacation that I purchased with my own credit card prior to the trip. A copy of my personal visa bill is available for your reference. Upon arrival at Disneyland, my ex-husband informed me that he had paid for a hotel package upgrade However, the audit appears to indicate otherwise. I'm therefore reimbursing the full cost of this item to the society. A personal check has been made in the amount of $34,922.57, made payable to the society, and was delivered to the attention of the new board at the society earlier today. In closing, I can't tell you how upsetting this is to me and how truly sorry I am that this has occurred. I'm going to take an unpaid leave of absence so that I can be with my children. And to ensure that these issues are resolved. I'm open to questions. From from on site, we'll go to the, again to the phone questions after. And if you could identify yourself as well. Hi, Jeff Hastings, Global News. Were you ever aware of any questionable spending by your ex-husband or the Portland Hotel Society? Was there ever anything that raised flags for you in the past? Uh, only when I read the audits. Nothing before that. No. Next question over here. Uh, Eric Rankin, CBC. Some people might find it kind of hard to believe that uh, a spouse, a partner, would not know uh, how much her partner was spending on something. These were fairly lavish trips by anyone's uh, estimation. How is it possible that you did not have a clue that uh, this money was not his to spend? He had assured me that the expenses were paid for by him. We keep separate accounts. We've always done that in, from the beginning. and. You know, I've paid for travel for us as a family, uh, and we pay expenses in a relationship. There is an element of trust, and I trusted him when he told me that it was paid for. And how is this left you feeling now? I'm as shocked as anyone to learn of this, and it's clearly very upsetting to me. In retrospect, should you not have seen the flag? Should you not have been more aware of what was going on? I trusted him. You know, I but trusted what about your my spouse. Though, too, in terms of seeing that night. Uh, and what's being spent I, on I had no. I had no idea what the amounts were. Uh, and about the payments, he reassured me that the payments were made by him, and I accepted that. You know, in a relationship, there is an element of trust. We have a question from over here. Just, Jenny, just to yes. ask you, are you, oh, I'm Marcella from CKW. 
how, how concerned are you that there could be criminal charges stemming from this and that your husband could be one of the people on the investigation of your ex -husband? Um, I have no knowledge about all of this information, right? And so the information that is before us came out of the audits. I read it at the same time as everyone else when it became public. Um, and I am taking responsibility for the areas that, uh, that, uh, that has implication for my family. Um, and that's all that I could do. I love them. You have a question over here? Yeah, Tom Pop with CTV. You've been outspoken about um, your support for the people in downtown East End. What would you say to the people living there right now uh, that we've talked to who say that they feel that their trust is being betrayed by the Portland Society and these events? I'm sorry. <laughs> Well, I'm very disturbed and upset by the findings of the audit. And even though I don't have all of the information around our expenses, I'm going to take responsibility for them and pay for them. And these monies and these expenses should go to support the people in the community. I've had the honor to represent the people of Angel Mount Pleasant for 17 years. And I love my constituents. They are incredible people with incredible, incredible strength and resources in the face of some of the most difficult challenges that a person could imagine in life. And they survive, and they thrive, and they show me about humanity and what humanity is about, and I learn from them each and every day. So I'm very sorry that this has happened, even though I had no knowledge of it and was assured that any expenditure related to me was paid for. Um, but, I, I, but I no, promise to, to take questions from the phone here. So, a follow up here, though. But knowing that, and at the same time, with your husband, knowing that trips are going to Paris and London, and that staffers are staying at four star hotels, employers are going to spas. I mean, surely there's a, a, a conflict there, there's a dichotomy. How do you, I mean, how do you justify that? I have no knowledge about uh, a lot of that information and uh, until the audit was released and even as, as, as I speak to you today, I have no knowledge about a lot of that information. You didn't know I that your husband was in Paris staying at an expensive hotel? I don't believe that my, I don't, the only people that can really answer all of those questions are the people involved at the Portland. I don't have that information. I know what I know based on the information from the audit. Okay, I'm going to go to the phones here. And I know Camille and uh, Rob Shaw have a question. So just to organize this, I'm going to uh, come off lecture mode. And Camille, let's uh, start with you. Just one second. The conference is no longer in lecture mode. Camille? Hi, Jenny. Um, Mark Townsend said yesterday that the Disneyland trip was a gift to an ill staff member. Was that your husband or was that someone else with another Disneyland trip? Well, the only item that I see on the audit is the Disneyland upgrade uh, and 
As I said in my statement, in the travel to Disneyland, I have booked the travel myself and pay for it myself as a vacation package. And upon arrival, my husband advised that there's that he's paid for a hotel upgrade. And um, so I believe that. Uh, and so if there's other travel related to Disneyland, I'm not aware of it. Um, but this is uh, what's been identified in the audit. And it would appear that uh, there's a discrepancy between what my husband, husband advised me. Ill? Well, my husband has been ill for some time. Okay. And... Um, What, what's your husband's response to all of this? As you Jenny, may what's your husband's response to all of this? As you may know, um, we're in the process of filing for divorce. We've been separated for some time. And I've been talking with him attempting to talk with him to find out about the um, the audit information and and our current circumstances makes it um, difficult uh, in terms of our ability to um, get in, get the information and to uh, address these issues, which is why it's I also taken some time. Ask one more question. So just to clarify, your trip to Europe was to Vienna and to the UK, so two trips? Uh, to the UK, to Bristol, mm -hmm. and uh, to Disney, uh, the, the Disney upgrade. Uh, Sorry, there, uh, so this was one trip to Vienna and to Bristol? Well, this is all the same trip. Yeah, the same trip was Vienna and Bristol, and then a separate trip to Disneyland, all in 2012. Well, Disneyland is is a separate trip. Um, Disneyland is a separate trip, and then the Europe trip is a separate trip. Okay, okay. We're, both in 2012. This is going to have to be the last question, and I and I know Rob Shaw's in the queue. So, Rob, do you want to ask your question? Jenny, could you expand on your leave of absence? Is that are you stepping down as an MLA, or tell us what you're doing? I'm taking a leave of absence so that I can be with my children. And I'm sorry, does that mean you're still the MLA or just uh, it, it means that I am still the MLA and uh, and I'm expecting to return. How long is your leave of absence? I have not yet determined that yet. Um, at this point my first priority has got to be um, to be with my children and to make sure that um, no harm comes their way. Have, have you considered resigning? Um, no, I haven't at this point. Okay, that's it for today, folks. Um, I want to thank everybody for joining us. Well, we just need some clarification. I just wasn't sure if you said you had talked to your husband or had not talked to your husband. I had um, talked to my husband yesterday uh, to try to get clarification, and um, uh, and uh, I have not been able to reach him uh, since that time. It is complicated because we are separated, we are apart, uh, and uh, and it's difficult, especially under these circumstances. And um, I have advised him. Uh, electronically uh, that I'm making this statement today. Um, I will continue to try to reach him uh, and to communicate with him and uh, in the hopes that this, this matter would be resolved. You were yeah, thank you. That's, that's it, folks. Put, we're gonna put forward some money. I mean, this is coming out of your pocket right now. What do you want him to do? I'm taking responsibility for this um, because I was part of his family unit at the time uh, for these travels. So 
uh, I'm going to take responsibility for that. Jenny, okay. Jenny. Mark said that uh, these types of payments, a lot of these were made in lieu of benefits to staff. Was your husband receiving uh, benefits from the Foreign yeah. Hotel Society at the time? Or and was this in lieu? Is there any understanding of that? I have no knowledge of that. You have to talk to Mark. Okay, Jenny. Jenny that's, that's it for questions, folks. Sorry? Okay. I said, was he receiving benefits, though, from Portland Hotel Society? I'm sorry. Was he receiving benefits from the Portland Hotel Society? Mr. Townsend has said that all of these questionable payments, or many of them, were in lieu of benefits that they couldn't pay their staff. I think that's a question that you need to um, put to to the Portland uh, individuals that are involved, because I have no knowledge of it. Uh, Jenny, okay, Jenny. Jenny, have you ever lobbied Can, for this? That, that's it, folks. We, I think we've covered a lot of ground. Okay. Yeah. Only Thanks weeks after Thanks. finding herself in the middle of a massive scandal involving the Portland Hotel Society, MLA Jenny Kwan announced her return to politics. Effective today, I am resuming my role as the elected member of the Legislative Assembly for Vancouver Mount Pleasant. Kwan says she has used two personal lines of credit to pay back $35,000 for family trips billed to the nonprofit society by her former husband. Questioned about the extreme spending, she claimed ignorance. The uh, hotel charges, I don't know what the costs are in terms of the limousines and restaurants and those other things. Um, I was not part of that. Her courageous taking responsibility, I think from my point of view, um, is something that um, says to me what I've always believed, that Jenny Kwan is a person of honour. Kwan says she'll continue working for constituents, some of Canada's poorest, who access services of the Portland Hotel Society. But is she still an appropriate advocate? Uh, I think she should have ta uh, taken a break for this session, uh, talked to her constituents, allowed the party to assess the situation, and if appropriate, uh, among both her constituents and the party, uh, to consider returning in the fall. In her riding of Vancouver, Mount Pleasant, Kwan gets mixed reviews. I mean, if the money's repaid and she's apologizing and she's still doing a good job, everyone deserves a second chance. I felt funny about the whole thing about her not knowing. I don't know if I quite believe that, but it's hard to say, right? While Kwan maintains she didn't know what was going on, she also refuses to say if her former husband will be reimbursing her for any of those $35,000 charges. Catherine Urquhart, Global News, Vancouver.